I'm Paul Qualia, the director of APAC Assistance, www.apacassistance.com. It's Monday, 24th of December, Christmas Eve. I'm going to do a quick update for clients on East Asia Pacific. Firstly, Indonesia, obviously Saturday night tsunami was triggered by an eruption of Anak Krakatau volcano. It killed more than 200 people. The death toll is rising. The tsunami injured more than 800 others in Banten and Lampung provinces. So it covered um, the impact area was Java and southern Sumatra, southeast Sumatra. The tsunami also damaged hundreds of structures and destroyed uh, many. Experts fear more tsunamis could be coming as a volcanic seismic activity continues. Clients are advised to avoid the obvious areas of the Java and Sumatran coast, either side of the Anak Krakatau volcano. Indonesia, a special mining permit given to Freeport Indonesia is valid up until the year 2031 and could be extended to 2041. Indonesia now owns approximately 51% of Freeport Indonesia. Freeport remains the operator of the mine. Indonesia expects a new ownership structure of Freeport Indonesia to lead to increased revenues for the country from the mining company in the big Grassburg area. However, it remains to be seen if the new arrangement will result in a good outcome for foreign investors and Indonesia on a holistic economic approach will prove to discourage investors and result in further hits to Indonesia's attractiveness to foreign direct investment. Indonesia had higher levels of F- FDI in 2017 compared to 2016. However, FDI has been going down further this year. Clients are advised to monitor APAC assistance advisories and alerts for updates on FDI in Indonesia and also on mining and natural resource issues in Papua, Indonesia. In the Philippines, on December 22, President Duterte ordered a Suharto-style liquidation of the country's communists. He also said he would order the isolation of indigenous people's communities in Mindanao to keep them out of the communist rebels' influence. Duterte's order and plan, if followed by the military, will result in more violence and human rights violations. Who we are, APAC Assistance Risk Management Membership offers clients all topical issues in writing daily in our succinct format, along with our assessment and advice. APAC Assistance members get information from our personnel, all experts living in the risk of the countries of the region. Our members get access to our expertise online, on call and face to face to gain from our regional based experiential knowledge assisting forward-thinking regional and global management teams operating in the East Asia Pacific and South Asia sub-regions of the Asia Pacific region. Our written alerts, advisories and assessments are also available on a purchase for view basis on our website www.apacassistance.com. Thank you. I'm Paul Qualia.